we do have Winnipeg Pride, but this year we're hosting Canada Pride, which was supposed to happen in 2020, but because of COVID was put off for two years. The Pride Festival in Winnipeg will be front and centre on the Canadian stage. This year, Winnipeg is set to host the second Fierte Canada Pride, a national collaboration of Pride associations across the country. Volunteers are working hard, setting up tables, chairs, sound systems and lights to get ready for the thousands of people who will attend this year's Pride festivities over the weekend. We have performers from all across Canada, the provinces and territories that will be performing at the Canada stage. Pride Festival Director Michaela Reeve says this year's Pride is special for a few reasons. It's the first time in two years that people are allowed to gather in person and support and celebrate 2S LGBTQ plus communities after pandemic shutdowns. It also marks the second national pride celebration with Fierte Canada Pride, who held their inaugural festival in Montreal in 2017. Reeve says this is the 35th year for pride festivals in Winnipeg, which is something to be proud of considering how pride events first got their start. Pride, you know, it started as a protest and at that time, you know, people couldn't even really be themselves in the parade. There was people that covered their faces due to fear of threats from people they knew, their family, their employers, um, just violence from strangers. So the fact that uh, Pride has come as far as they have is a wonderful thing. I remember folks saying, I never thought we'd ever have a Pride. Julie Nobert DeMarkey grew up in a small town, and as the president of Fierte Canada Pride, she wants to help smaller rural communities like the one she was raised in grow their own Pride festivals. Nobert DeMarkey says having a Pride festival in her home community of Timmins Ontario was a transformative moment in her life. So I want every small community to have the opportunity and I want you know um, individuals from small remote rural communities to be able to come out and celebrate and hold their partner's hand or kiss their partner. As a queer person it's really important to be able to support each other and doing things like this really helps you to walk the walk instead of just talking the talk. Michaela Hunter is a pride volunteer helping set up for the weekend that will feature live Live music, drag shows, beer gardens, food trucks, and family-friendly zones that are substance use free. Hunter says Pride festivals are an opportunity to advance 2S LGBTQ rights and awareness, as well as helping people meet what she calls found family. Found family is a huge thing. Sometimes we don't have the support of blood family members, and we come together with other people in the community and celebrate and bring awareness to who we are and how important it is that we validate our experiences. It's it's so important and I'm very excited. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.